video we're going to continue our doing our estimate for costs now we're going to look into the cost of a fire protection system for this uh, building if we uh, start looking at the uh, drawings here we see that uh, there is a line safety uh, set of drawings then in the architectural drawings we have a reflected ceiling plan this may be helpful if we have a sprinkler type of uh, fire suppression systems then uh, we look at the structural drawings mechanical uh, plumbing in plumbing sometimes we can find uh, drawings about the uh, fire suppression system in this case we have uh, isometric drawings uh, sanitary water gas and piping isometrics so we could take a look of that drawing and see if there is anything about uh, fire protection then we have electrical and then we finally get to the kitchen area so in the kitchen FS stands for fire suppression and then we do see that there is a fire suppression system plan in drawing 1.7 so let's go over there uh, and take a look of what do we have in the fire protection system drawing FS 1.7 then uh, we see here that this is a uh, system uh, furnished by uh, some manufactured and it does have a um, fire protection system with two three ta three gallon tanks uh, these tanks are going to provide some sort of uh, fire protection to the kitchen uh, very likely it's going to be connected to the uh, the exhaust hoods because that's where the grease uh, is cut from the um, cooking uh, operation so when when they cook those uh, gr uh, greases uh, are caught in the hood and then the potential is for the high heat to um, make those greases uh, caught on fire so then they will they will start uh, a, a, a fire some sensors in the system will trigger uh, an alarm and then the fire suppression system should uh, kick in and uh, turn off the fire so that's how the the, the system is uh, going to be working uh, we don't really have too much of the details here to estimate the individual components so we have to basically resort to a external cost data I uh, went into Google and did a uh, search for fire protection systems for kitchens and then uh, I found uh, this uh, hood mart uh, system so they have a restaurant type fire protection system with wet chemicals and piping so this, this seems to be the kind of system that we need um, the cost uh, is listed at uh, 4185 with a discount right now of 3900 so that seems to be the cost for it of course uh, we need to add uh, shipping and then we will need to add the cost of uh, installation so we have uh, several options here we can uh, basically give a call to someone and estimate the, the cost of the installation we can look into the mechanical systems and see how uh, much it will cost to install the typical uh, mechanical system and maybe have an idea of uh, how much we would pay uh, we can also think about uh, how long this process will take uh, how many people uh, in our mind we can figure out some sort of a base to estimate the cost so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open Excel fire suppression should be in division 21 but now it's going to have maybe one or two lines so it doesn't really make too much sense to create a new tab only for a division that has two tabs so what I'm going to do is I am going to create a duplicate of uh, my RS means table uh, I'm going to create a copy put that on the end and uh, I am going to set the name of this table to um, costs each or uh, per square feet so I am going to use this area to only do estimates that I can get uh, an, uh, 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 a cost per item per system 
per installation or just apply some sort of a cost per square feet to that particular division. So I'm going to use division 21st uh, fire protection and then I'm going to type in here description uh, fire protection system uh, as, uh, or by uh, these guys Hootmart. So the uh, cost is going to be each uh, material labor equipment. I'm going to type this into equipment. So I'm going to set up the cost of uh, $4,200, uh, 4200 just because I don't know if they will have the uh, discount later on or not. Quantity of work is going to be one. And then I can type here, uh, I can basically just go on my uh, website, copy the link that I used and then paste it in here. So if I ever need uh, to find where was the, the cost of the system that I found, then uh, all I have to do is click on that link. Uh, for some reason it didn't paste correctly. Let's see. Uh, paste. This is the link. So now it should be uh, completely uh, up there, uh, huh. seems like I'm having a little trouble here copying and pasting the link. Let me uh, just repeat the procedure again, and then there you go. So now this should uh, this should work. Well, I have now the the link in here. So if I go and select the entire thing. I should be able to open a new browser, a new page, and then just paste here the tab, and I get back to the original cost where I uh, had it estimated. So that's going to be the, the cost of the equipment. Now, installation. Uh, I need to somehow uh, figure out the cost of the installation. Uh, so I will have installation of fire suppression system so I'm going to use a crew of uh, installers one I'm going to call this INST1 and uh, then I'll go into the crews so for crew uh, INS I'm going to type here INST1, this is the crew that's going to install the, that uh, system. I will have one uh, supervisor that is likely to make a, a probably $150 uh, per hour, let's say. And then we'll have one uh, helper that is going to make uh, probably somewhere around $30 per hour. So we will have a cost of 150 times one, and then let's say we have a cost of uh, 30 times one. If uh, we think that there may be two helpers instead, then you know the the spreadsheet will automatically calculate the correct number. So we have daily uh, labor hours. Uh, it's going to be the sum of the people that we have multiplied by eight, assuming that they will be working eight hours per day. And then we have the cost uh, for the crew is going to be $210 uh, per day, right? So this is going to be the crew that we believe is going to install this uh, system. And uh, perhaps they will be uh, working for three days. So on my uh, installation suppression cost, I have installation one. Uh, the cost uh, will be per day. And then the labor is going to be equal to the cost of this uh, crew uh, on a daily basis, which is uh, crews, the total per day, 
and then uh, the quantity of work is the number of days that I believe they will be taking to install the thing. So if I think they will take three days to install it, I will certainly type in three. So that will be 210 per day times three days, so $360 for a total of uh, 630 And this I can type in here. This is uh, my own estimate uh, based on experience. Of course, uh, this is not the best way to do that. Uh, probably the best way would be to contact a uh, subcontractor and find out how much they will charge. And very likely, it's going to be more than $630. So they will probably have specialized tools and they will have to set up a, uh, a test before they, they start this. So, you know, if we think a little bit about that, it may take longer. So basically all you have to do to adjust this is to change the number of days. Now it will take 10 days. So that's $2,000 and that's more a uh, reasonable number for the installation of this fire suppression system. Maybe now it's too high since the equipment itself cost four thousand and then uh, we didn't include freight in here so we need to include uh, the freight of the system uh, we have a couple of options we can just set up a, a total cost of what we think is going to cost to ship this maybe two hundred dollars and this is just an estimate so we could also go to the um, shipping estimator and then type in the uh, zip code a one four, um, just uh, any uh, zip code uh, will work, uh, and then we should get a cost uh, estimate for the shipping. So this is 281, and I had estimated 200, so I wasn't too far away. Uh, maybe we will use then 300 as an estimate. And that's how we would estimate then the cost for the fire protection. Now, the, the only thing is we, we will need to make some sort of a, a subtotals over here because this spreadsheet is going to have several divisions that are estimated either by uh, bulk, uh, you know, a, a lump sum uh, number that we assign or a cost per square foot. So we will basically have only two or three line items for this division because we don't really have too much information and we're making a lot of assumptions. So that's how we will tackle uh, this particular item and any similar items that we do not have enough information.